guys, how you doing? Welcome to the shack, dead in the backyard. Can't really do anything at the moment anyway, so it's a lazy sort of Saturday afternoon. Thought we'd get the fire going, grab all the hillbilly gear out, have ourselves a bit of a uh, Saturday night cook up. We might even sit around the fire a bit later on. We're gonna do some lamb shanks. Um, absolute classic to do, everyone loves them. Easy to do over a campfire as well. So let's crack on, we'll get this stuff cut up and bits and pieces and I'll talk you through the whole way. Cheers. So we're all set up, ready to go. So with lamb shanks, what you want to grab, obviously enough, you need to grab yourself some lamb shanks. But all the basic stuff, your kitchen starter pack, everything smells good with garlic and herbs and onion. Now I like to add some like some tin tomatoes and some barbecue sauce, and it wouldn't be a camp cook up if it wasn't a bit of mustard for my mate Kev. So uh, we'll get started, but I do have one little secret weapon. And it's a bit weird, but uh, yes, there you go. I'll show you where that goes. Now I'm using a hillbilly camp oven on this one. It doesn't really matter what type of camp oven you use, whether it's a spun steel one like this, or whether it's a cast iron one. We've used those over the years as well. You could actually just use one of the pots out of your kitchen if you wanted to, just as long as it's got a lid and a nice heavy base. The first thing we need to do is brown off these lamb shanks. So the best way to do that, throw some good olive oil in the pan, and don't be shy with the garlic, use plenty of that because it's good, it's garlic. Get your onions in there, and that's your kitchen starter pack right there. That will smell amazing and it will bring campers around for a thousand miles. Grab those lamb shanks and get those on the heat as well. You want to brown them off for a few minutes before you start adding any of the other ingredients. So once they've browned off, you want to start getting creative and adding in all the extra bits and pieces. So I've started off here with a bit of tomato paste, throwing in a good splodge or two of your tomato sauce. Now don't ask for the measurements of a splodge, it is an, a metric measurement. It, you won't find it in too many cookbooks. So a splodge of your tomato sauce, a dollop of your barbecue sauce, if you can get it out of the bottle that is, those glass bottles are always a bit tricky. While it was off camera as well, I added in a tin of tomatoes, so you, you don't see that unfortunately. And of course, the mustard for my mate Kev, there it is. A pinch of your mixed herbs, whatever type you really like, but this is just your generic mixed herbs. And then add some water in there, just to cover up the lamb. Give that a good mix around. Add in your carrots, and that's pretty much it for the next couple of hours. Just sit it over the fire and watch the world go by. I nearly forgot the secret weapon. A bit of Vegemite. Gonna let that simmer away now for a while. We'll check back in in a little bit. Alright, so our lamb 
machines have been on for a couple of hours now, about two and a bit hours. So we'll start, uh, we'll start on the mashed taties. Once the taters are all sorted, mashed up nicely, here comes the moment of truth. It's time to see if uh, it's all come together as you expect. Now, not that you can smell on this, but I'm telling you, that smells fantastic. The only thing left to do at this point is plate everything up with a good dollop of mashed potato and then throw a lamb shank on top of there. You'll be the king of the camp. Make sure you let me know if you try this at home or on your next camping trip. Hope you enjoy. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers.